Hi, today I'm going to show you how to drag and drop images into a Word document easily, neatly, so that it doesn't interfere with all of the typing and it doesn't mean this you've got to individually format each image. Now I'm somebody who has worked with images in Word document for a number of years and it wasn't until probably the second year that I realised there was this uh, easy method in which to input my images. So I have a Word document open here. The first thing I'm going to do is go up to insert and go down to table where I will insert a 2 by 2 plain table. Now I don't want to see the borders on this table so I'm going to click on the top left icon to highlight the entire table. Simply go up to borders or right click and your borders icon will come up here. You then go down to no borders. Now although you've got the dotted lines you won't see this on printing or if it's turned into a PDF file. So the second thing I'd like to do is to uh, alter the size of my cells. Obviously I don't want my images to be the size of these uh, rows here. So I've highlighted the table again. I go up to layout and, and because I want four images on my page equally spread across my page I'm going to put 12 centimeters in which as you can see if I reduce the size gives me four nice rectangles ready for my images. Now if I was to insert an image now, as I will demonstrate, you can see what happens. It explodes across my page and fills it. That's not what I want. So what I want to do now is to set my table so that it doesn't move when I drag and drop a photograph. So I'm going to right click on the, oh, for some reason it, ah, right click on the top icon to highlight my table and the first thing I need to do is set the width of our rows so that this distance here does not change when I insert my image. I go down to auto fit and fix column width. So that's now fixed the width of my column. I now want to fix the height of my row. So again I right click on the square go down to table properties and I click on the row icon at the top. It's ticked at specific height because you want it a specific height of 12 centimeters and the row height should be checked at exactly. If this doesn't happen then the photograph will explode across the page again and click OK. In addition to this I want my images to be centered in each rectangle so if I go down to cell alignment and I'd like mine at the top but in the center and I check that means when I click on each box you'll see that they would be all in the center. So now that it's been done I'm going to hit the Windows key and the left arrow key to send my page to the left. I've also got my file, my photographs file up to the right. So now all I simply need to do is to drag and drop my photographs neatly into my table. Now you may decide that you want more images and that's very easy to do. You simply click on the row that you want to put images between or below and go up to the layout and simply insert a row. That way it will insert a row for you and you can put some more images in. If you don't want to do that and you want to insert a row below obviously you go you click on the lower row and then insert your table below and there it will come up there. Now sometimes when you have done your images you realize you need to put text in between and that again is quite easy you select your image and you go up to layout and split cells and it will split cell for you and then you can continue to type or add um, other features to your document. And the final thing to show you, uh, well two actually, the first thing is you can actually format your images in the document. So if you go up to highlight the image you want to change, you go to format and you've got a number of different um, options here to change the view of your particular image. 
And then, of course, if you have a lot of images in your document and you want to email somebody, obviously they can be very large. So if, again, you click on an image, you go up to the Format tab, you click on Compress Picture, and this box will appear. And then you'll have to uncheck this if you want to apply it to all the images in your document or check it if it's just one image. And then you can select from these various options at the bottom. And then you simply check OK and those images will be reduced in order for you to be able to email or put on the web, etc, etc. So I hope that's been helpful for you. Uh, I wish I'd known about this when I st started working with images um, because it would have been extremely helpful and would save me an awful lot of time. So I hope it's helped and thank you for watching.